For the radio industry next month, applicants for the second independent national radio licence will be announced and among them could be Atlantic 252. The station transmits from the south of Ireland and is broadcast on the unfashionable long wave. Yet, since its launch in 1989, Atlantic 252 has been aimed clearly at the UK market and is already giving Radio 1 a run for its money in the north and the Midlands. Brenda Manus reports. This is the local cattle market and this is the fastest growing radio station in Europe. Atlantic 252, based here in Trim, County Mead. Atlantic 252, Long Wave. How you doing? I'm Captain Kevin on the radio station that's got everybody talking, except the DJs. Atlantic 252 was set up as a joint venture between Irish state broadcaster, RTE, and the owners of Radio Luxembourg. Based in a former doctor's surgery just outside the market town, it's won the hearts of over four million listeners, including the locals in Trim. I think it's, it's better than Irish radio stations, because it plays the charts all the time, and the Irish radio stations play um, different music, like old and stuff, but um, it's better, better music. Do you listen to it at all? Uh, well, the kids do, the older ones. And what do they think of it? Oh, they love it. What do you like about it? It brings employment to the town. They're DJs just drinking our pub, eating our pub. To have parties. They're good. Very good. Despite initial animosity from the UK radio industry and scepticism about the station's archaic longwave frequency, Atlantic have turned things to their advantage. Best music station. Best music station. Atlantic 252. I think it's helped us to establish a, a bit of a pirate image which is important to us. We like to be uh, sound irreverent on the air and have a lot of fun. And as I say, we're out to entertain and have a good time, like a, a party on the air 24 hours a day. We only play about 50% of the UK top 40 because we believe that that's not a very strong chart. So we search all around the world. We look to America, um, New Zealand, Australia, where a lot of the music markets are very much developed. And there's a lot of new emerging acts there. And that's where we get a kind of lead on a lot of the new artists that we've introduced to the UK, the likes of uh, Extreme, Kathy Dennis, Amy Grant, Colour Me Bad. Its music rather than chat philosophy could make Atlantic a popular contender for the next independent national radio franchise due in February. But the station is reluctant to reveal whether it will apply. The position is, as I speak to you, that um, we are certainly interested in INR2. Um, we're having a careful look at it. We haven't yet decided finally what we're going to do about that. But I think we do take the view that we've been very successful so far at building audience revenue and client base. And we would see ourselves as being one of the, if not the only, commercial operator in the UK environment who has experience of a national type radio activity. As popular as they may be on the airwaves, the Atlantic 252 DJs have yet to be called to open supermarkets and shops like Chris Tarrant or Tony Blackburn. The station isn't so much about that. I think if we were in England, we wouldn't necessarily get a great deal more because uh, somebody once described it not as personality, but as stationality, it's Atlantic 252 that's the star and not me or any of the disc jockeys. Um, we help make the station the success that it is, but um, we don't go strutting around looking for attention in that way, like some people do. Best new music, first, Atlantic 252.